Hey everybody, it's Daryl back again with Networthy. What the Networthy channel is all about is uh, stuff that's worthy of going on the internet. Uh, the reason why I called it Networthy is two things. Uh, there's going to be some fishing videos and stuff on this channel, and there's also going to be stuff as far as gardening goes. Uh, so Networthy means something worth putting in a fish net, you know, big fish. And it also means something that I think it would be valuable for other people to see and uh, maybe learn from my mistakes or successes or anything like that. So that's what uh, Networthy means. Now, as far as what we're going to be doing on this channel, as far as gardening and stuff, uh, I'm a big fan of using every bit of the space that you've got to do gardening. Uh, here's one of the beds that I've got. It's actually around my house. Uh, some people like to come out here and put plants that are pretty much just for looks around their house, but I want to actually do more with that. I've got to get more compost. I got started on this last year, and then we had uh, some issues, and I never got finished with it. As a matter of fact, I've got the stuff to go away around the other side of the house, too. And then we have these raised beds over here that we're going to do. Uh, when I did these beds last year I went and got what they called compost but it ended up being more like a wood mulch and my flowers didn't do worth the crap in it here's some lettuce that I planted late in the season and it did alright of course you can see a lot of it went to seed I had some collards in here a couple uh, carrots and then we got a few turnips and some more carrots down here. I did have some radishes planted out here. And then there's some more different types of lettuces and stuff. This stuff right here is uh, cattle panels that I got from an old hog house that we, we used to have. Uh, that's the reason why it's so rusted and stuff. But uh, it still works. And here's some more raised beds. This is the uh, material like they use for uh, like a composite board like they use for decks and stuff. I built these planters probably, I don't know, eight, eight years ago, and they're still holding up pretty good. Uh, and now here's some more kale. And then there's this bed. I've got the material cut for doing this. Now this right here is a galvanized metal like they use to pull concrete on on like second story buildings. Where I work at, they had that left over, and I asked the guy, what are you going to do with it? And he was like, if you want it, take it. So I cut the pieces in, uh, they were a little bit longer, so I cut them in half, and I was up. I got enough to make two beds out of those. I got to put the other one together and finish it up. And then I got these. And if you'll see, way over here is a greenhouse that I'm going to get started on. And we've also got bees, which I've got another channel beekeeping channel or whatever but i've got to get these done i've got a place right here that we've had something till up and i've got to get in here and clean it out if it ever quit raining uh we've had issues with lots and lots of rain here in north carolina matter of fact the bottom is supposed to fall out here in about another two hours and uh rain and rain and rain probably all tonight and part of tomorrow so uh after that it's supposed to clear up and then it's supposed to turn off cold i think we're supposed to get in the highs of maybe 50s and then the lows and the around freezing and into freezing a couple nights but right here's where the greenhouse is going to be going uh it's 25 foot wide and 75 foot long <clears throat> i'm going to kind of set it up as a uh, like a hive tunnel type thing i'm still debating on doing the double plastic on the top but i want to do the roll up sides on it so if that's something that would be interesting to y'all then subscribe to the channel because there'll be videos coming up on that and all we've done so far is just drove these pipes are actually three foot long and i've drove them in the ground that far i wanted to do my corner post that long but uh the rest of them's only going to be maybe a foot a piece because they're not really going to be doing anything but holding the uh bows in place so there's that uh this place out here, we're going to till it up too, and we're going to put some plants in the dirt. We're going to do some plants in the raised beds and some plants around the house. Uh, 
and we'll just you know see which ones do better the good thing about raised beds is is there's a little bit less maintenance a lot less weeding and all that good stuff the issue we have here our main issue is pigweed uh if you don't know what pigweed is it is freaking terrible uh a lot of people are against roundup but just to tell you how bad this stuff is roundup won't even kill it if it's over about two or three inches long roundup won't even hurt it i mean it's like it eats round drinks roundup and it'll keep right on growing the only way to get rid of it is to pull the plants up put them somewhere and burn them if uh they seed out one plant will produce over 10,000 seed i think's what it is it might even be more than that and uh they spread like wildfire so i'm pretty sure once i till this up uh we're gonna have pigweed issues but uh once we do that we'll show you you know what now we got going on and all that good stuff so if that's stuff that's interesting you hit subscribe throw me a thumbs up and uh put in the comment section below what you'd like to see uh we're gonna grow a little bit of everything i got some uh elderberry bushes i'm gonna put in this year i got a plum tree to plant and we got a whole bunch of stuff that i got planned for this year so Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, and, you know, come hang out with us on Networthy. Uh, I think that's it for this video. Hope y'all doing good. If you got any uh, questions or comments, leave them down below. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.